Hello and what's going on? Um, I'm just working here on a Sunday and I figured I would show you a little bit of the behind the scenes kind of uh, keyword research that I'm doing right now for uh, a new client of mine. Um, right now we are trying to find keywords for um, drain cleaning services and hydro jetting services. These are both plumbing services. And essentially I'm trying to find uh, keywords that we can target inside of his Google AdWords account, which we're setting up here as well, uh, that are not too expensive um, and not too, too crazy competitive. So uh, let's kind of dive right into what my process has been lately. Um, essentially, I use mostly use the keyword tool um, SEMrush. You can also use a tool like uh, the Keyword Planner. And essentially, all I do is I make keyword lists. So I use this tool here inside. Uh, it's called the Keyword Magic Tool here, which finds keywords as well as Organic Research tab here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a look at his competitors by going uh, and searching the services. So hydrojetting services, Orange County, uh, because he's operating in Southern California. And essentially we take the top competitors. Usually I don't worry about Yelp. And we say, okay, Baker's and Sons Plumbing and Sewer TV Plumbing and Scott's English Plumbing. Basically, I go to the URL. I take a look at kind of some of the phrases or words that they're using. Of course, they're using hydrojetting uh, and drain cleaning because they um, hydrojetting is essentially, from my understanding, a kind of a upgrade to the regular uh, drain cleaning. And pretty much I select their URL. I come back here and I would plug it into um, into SEMrush. And then what SEMrush will do is SEMrush will spit me out a bunch of the keywords that this website ranks for. So if I go back to Blue Frog Orange County, which is the main one I was looking at, it starts to give me all of the keywords that this website is ranking for organically, not the keywords that they're bidding on inside of AdWords. Now what's great is I can say, okay, I'm looking for, let's say hydro jetting or, or cleaning services or drain, drain cleaning. So I can say drain, I can filter by that keyword. And now it's saying 88 keywords that this website is ranking for that contain the word drain. Now here we can take a look and we can sort it by volume because we can see which ones are search the most in their area. Now we know this is going to be local because it's a local competitor, Orange County. And essentially I can see obviously drain cleaning has got the most searches, uh, but also a pretty high cost per click. Uh, so depending on what your conversion rate, it might, it might work out well. And basically as you scroll down, we can start to see keywords that I have selected here that um, might be worth targeting. And of course, most of them are pretty expensive. Um, the reason why this one is probably actually cheaper is just because of the sheer volume of it. And essentially all I do is I find keywords like such as this top rated drain unclogger. That would be drain cleaning and it has a 30 search volume, but it doesn't really show me a cost per click, which to me would show that it's, uh, not nearly as competitive, but of course, keyword difficulty showing it is. You can filter as well by competition, but essentially I go through and I add all of these to a list and I called it the hydro jetting list. So if I go to this list right now um, and we go to keyword manager and we say hydro jetting, you can see that I've started to put together a list of keywords for um, that service area. So you can see drain jetting near me, you know, a lot less competitive. And um, where's the cost per click? 555 cost per click versus somewhere around, you know, 10 or 18 that you might see on this. So we can start filtering out and finding keywords that are not so competitive, um, but are still worth targeting. So basically what I would do is uh, I'll take these keywords and I'll start grouping them together within AdWords and creating ads specific to each of those. Of course, I already have the landing page built that includes drain cleaning and hydro jetting. Um, so we uh, can, yeah, essentially start targeting from there. 
So that's kind of my process so far in keyword research. Um, if you want more, uh, I'm going to be creating more videos, so please stay tuned. Thanks.